Uh, Hampton, again, thank you. Merry Christmas. We hope to see you soon. Also, we should tell you a disruptor giving uh, angel investors some help. Dream Funded uh, helps investors scout and fund startups before they reach the IPO stage. The company's CEO is going to join us right after a quick break. This is the Mo Share. That was fun. for good. That's right. That's right. Oh, boy, and angel investors looking to earn their wings in uh, tech investing have uh, their own uh, Clarence uh, guiding uh, them on their investing path. Uh, Manny Fernandez is here. He's the co-founder and CEO of Dream Funded. He joins us now. Dream Fund is an equity crowdfunding platform connecting angel investors with pre-IPO tech companies. And good morning to you. Thank you for coming in. Good morning. So explain what this is. This is a crowdfunding platform that allows people to that are that are in these unicorn-like companies to sell their shares. Is that what's going on here? Yes. Yeah, so tech employees in these most well-known companies could sell and get cash for life events, buy a home, diamond right. ring, or pay off their school loan. How is this different, for example, than what second market started trying to do, for example? Well, second market kind of changed their business model, but they came in an era before equity crowdfunding. So right now, it's, there's a very popular boom with people using right. the internet to make investments. And the highway bill is a new bill that was just passed by Congress is going right. to allow employees to sell in 90 days versus uh, right. 12 months. Are we effectively doing away with the, the public markets? Is that what's happening here? I mean, with, with services and businesses like yours, yeah. are we deciding you don't ever really need to have an IPO at all? Because there's been a big debate by the way, that a lot of these private companies, there might be uh, sort of a, a misimpression of what the valuations really are these days. Things are coming down. There's a, there's a lot of debate about whether this is actually a good thing or not and whether it actually should be the discipline of being in the public markets is a better thing. Well, hopefully one day some of these platforms will serve as a private uh, IPO, if you will, so doing away with the public markets. But that may be down the road. But is that what you want? You, you want these guys to stay, for you, you want them to stay private? You know, some people think that the private markets, uh, the frequent tradings are not the best thing for companies. So who knows? But effectively what you're doing, though, is making the, 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 or increasing the likelihood of frequent trading, right? No, people are still um, can sell in 90 days. But when an investor owns it, they have to wait a year before they resell it through our platform. So it's not a frequent trading. But we believe that one day this will be a new type of What's model. listing on your your exchange? Well, What's since there? It's, since it's uh, a private market, under 506 uh, D as in yeah. we can't promote what our investments are. We can only promote the platform, so they are accredited investors. But you can get, can't, you mean general? I mean, like, there are companies of X size. They have revenue sure. of X size. They specialize in what? Yeah, the most uh, well-known companies that you all use and well... We talk about really well known they're within our platform. We can we're fortunate to say one of our biggest known companies that we funded to uh, buying employee shares is Dropbox. Another company is Task Rabbit. Another right. one is Rebel Systems. So within our platform, we have some of the biggest names, just investors. Okay, so for example, though, like Benioff has come out and uh, and he said, you know, all these guys are making a big mess of, of staying private. This whole private idea yeah. there's no discipline in the private market, and all these valuations are fake. Uh huh. What do you think of that? Everyone has an opinion. I think some perhaps are kind of big and others are right. No one really knows unless they're an insider seeing all the revenues that the, these companies are producing. Right. But the other piece of the puzzle is that if you're in the public markets, you really have to disclose a lot of information. Mm -hmm. And that cuts both ways. But for, if you're an investor, mm -hmm. you actually want to know what's going on with these companies, which is sure. to say if the private companies don't have to make some of the same disclosures, and so the risk is higher. Well, with the highway bill that's going to be signed by Obama in the next couple of months, it's going to not only allow employees to sell in 90 days, but also provide financial disclosures to investors. This is historic. So right. Companies like Second Market provided no disclosures. This will provide investors a little glimpse of what they're getting into. I don't know if you said, there was a piece uh, yesterday in the New York Times, I think, uh, online about, uh -huh. this com about Good. Uh, which is a company that was sold to uh -huh. BlackBerry mm -hmm. uh, for about $450 million, something like that. They had actually had an offer for yeah. $850 million six months earlier, which they didn't take. Right. The employees, many of whom had not only taken shares as compensation, but also bought additional shares, uh, some of them lost their shirts. Uh -huh. And one of the issues has been the disclosure, right? Because they didn't really understand where the current valuation was, how, how much the company frankly, was struggling in terms of their cash position. Yeah. And so this becomes one of the issues around being in the private market that I think actually is but, now being articulated but, but in a way that, that true? Hasn't. Anybody who works in Silicon Valley or Seattle is often getting their compensation in some kind of restricted shares, et cetera. I mean, everybody 
in that right. world is subject to these issues, regardless of whether it's it's trading or not, right? You throw right, in your lot with this place and you say, wow, maybe this is going to be right, the next Google and I'm going to be wealthy. But it's one thing to be, but I guess the question I'm raising is sort of a philosophical one is, it's one thing to be working for that company. Yeah. It's another for to be an investor outside of that company without but the But does disclosure. this let those guys monetize that asset? Yes. Those guys, the employees? The, yeah. Yes. Well, that's fantastic then. Isn't that great? So you're not locked in? You can yes. trade that off to somebody else who's willing to bear the risk instead? Uh, yes and no. The, yeah. other, the other philosophical question about this is culturally, if you... Dude, it you used to be if me. It used to be if you were paper rich. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But if you were just paper rich, that didn't. You would you would be incentivized to keep working to kill yourself because you needed to to actually turn that paper into right. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can get out early, what does that do to the sort of culturally to your incentive system? I'm just saying there's. Yeah. You know, there's or maybe you know something and then you want to get out, and so the buyer beware for the person who goes onto a market that has less information. Well, you know, there's $60 billion plus that's trapped within employee equity. Right. And in San Francisco, is one of the most expensive cities in the world to live in. Mm. Very similar to New York. Right. And so people need to have capital to buy their first home, and this allows them to take right. some money. Do you have to be an accredited? Is, is there any kind of uh, limit in terms of accredited investor yes, to partake in this? Yes, currently you accredited investor to partake. To so what's, what, what's, what's, what's your minimum? Minimum investment? Minimum investment and, and, and minimum assets. What defines assets. you as accredited? Yep. Oh, the accredited investor standards is based on what Security Exchange Commission said, $200,000 yeah. a year or 300000 if you're married or net worth of a million dollars in your home. And it's just, you go online and you check the box and you'd be able to see the right. investment opportunities. Cool. You can do it easily. I invite many of the investors that uh, want to get involved in a pre-IPO market, you know, visit Dream Funded and join us. It's right. a very big uh, trend that's taking place. You and your whole family cool. could do it and all be accredited. <laughs> yeah. You and your extended relatives could all do it. Yeah, still be accredited. yeah knowing you. you yeah. You're making you a one percenter uh, argument? Is that what you're trying to say here? <laughs> one per point zero 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 one. Manny, we love them. you. Thank you for coming in. Happy holidays. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Good luck with this. Billions, New York Times, deal books. Not a lot to, when we return, uh, they'll still be arguing. A last-minute stalking stuffer that could pay...